Ooh, looks like our dust cap came off. It's all full of crap. That's handy. We'll just put that back on there. Act like we didn't see that. I don't think that's going to be good. Well, now that says it's a three-ton jack stand made in China. Have you tried to buy a white wall lately? Looks like we got some brand used hubcaps on some brand used tires. Well, of course, I've got a phone call from Mississippi. I'm sure this is a good one. Here, let's listen to it. Hello? Hi, this is Mary, and I'm calling about the new self-employed health plan. Well, hi, Mary. How are you doing today? Oh, just fine. How are you? Okay, so the reason for the call today is Cigna now offers... An Hello, goodbye. Tadlock's tool shit hat today, and uh, I'm not sure what we're going to get done this week. Oh my goodness, there's everything going on. The old trailer back here's got a flat tire on it. I got to take that thing off and go get a tire made. Not a tire made, but a tire <laughs> bought and replaced because that thing is dry rotted. The one on the other side's not good either. But I found me a rim that I think will fit this lime lofty da out here. So we've got to see if that rim on that trailer, which I think is a 5 on 5, 15 inch, should fit on there. So we've got the one tire that's decent on the trailer. The others are bad. Well, the spare didn't even have a rim on it. Well, in fact, I had to even get a new rim because the rim was bad. I mean, it's just been, yeah, it's the way, this is the way the whole week's went. You know, here it is already almost the weekend. So anyway, so we're going to get that taken care of. I'm going to get a little foo-foo paint on that rim and because we're going to put those wheel covers back on the trailer and uh, oh my gosh we just got lots going on so I don't know what all we're going to get into uh, the old lime lati da is still sitting over there I cannot get that thing to cool I don't care I've had three fans running on that thing and it still gets hot so something is wrong somewhere and I got a suspicion feeling maybe it's the water pump so we're going to dig into that some, maybe, if we get time. I don't know. Come along for the ride. Show you more. Okay, so we got this thing jacked up and got the wheel took off of it. And we went down and had some new tires put on the rims that are going to go on this trailer. Well, of course, just throw that thing around. got us a couple of steelies in here. Well, that thing's fell off again. Boy, that's the way this week's went all week long. Come on now. Oh. Anyway, we've got us some new steelies here. Well, they ain't new. Rubbers on here are new, though. So we're going to get these out and clean them up a little bit, put some black paint on them. Okay, well, we ain't going to get too carried away with this, guys, but we are going to take some sandpaper and some tape and got this uh, wonderful hammer, hammered, reflective black something. So, anyway, we're going to do some, we're going to flip you up on time lapse here and let's see what we can get something done with these new, these new old rims with some new tires, which weren't cheap. 
Have you tried to buy a white wall lately? Give me a break. All right, show you more. Okay. Well, let's see if we can uh, get a little paint put on these. I'm not going to get too carried away because, like I said, the, the wheel cover is going to cover most of that. But, you know. Oh, man. Golly. Mm. I don't even know if this stuff will even work anymore. Oh, yeah. She's coming right on out. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. I forgot to cover up that new valve thing, didn't I? Well, we just won't put anything in This one's black, so already. So, I don't think it's going to hurt too much. Well, it looks like my camera's flashing at me. I need a new battery! I need a new battery! <sighs> you ever have one of them days? I mean to tell you now. Let's just go ahead and make that look a little pretty down in there. Just right over the dirt, too. I mean, you know, hey, if it don't come off of there, then we ain't worried about it. Really, like I said, most of this is going to be covered with a wheel cover, so I don't think it's going to hurt too much. But I certainly didn't want to get it on the white walls. I mean, if one thick coat don't cover it, you know, what will, you know? Ah, that ought to get it. All right, show you more. Okay, well, while them's are drying, we're going to take a little of this turtle wax and smear on here a little. See if we can shine these stainless steel thing up a little bit. I think maybe I should have put a little more wax in there. I don't know if that was enough. These are just like the wheel covers I had on my 73 LTD. But I can't find any more of these. I have been everywhere. Now, I did find this weekend, if you watched our, or uh, last week, last weekend, if you watched the uh, tractor show uh, video, uh, I did find a junkyard on the way over to Princeton in Francisco, Indiana, that has some old LTDs in it. The guy wasn't open, so I'm going to go over there one day coming up maybe this week if I get time and see just once if he's got you know if he's got something I can buy some parts on because I did find a shroud uh, at Fred's yard up by the base but uh, no uh, no fan and no you know spacer, no no clutch, no nothing like that for the front of that. But I still don't think that's the problem. I feel that electric fan, three of them electric fans ought to have cooled that had it been like I said, if there wasn't something else wrong with it. And I've had some interesting things happen through the years with them old Ford. I bought some I bought a car off of a guy and he said he couldn't get it to cool it was all this stuff and he'd done to it and new water pump and well come find out he had put a water pump a marine version water pump on that that for that it was a modified and uh, that thing was pumping the wrong direction because it was the marine pump they made them engine engines to spin the other direction 
and so it's not pushing the water through the radiator, it's pulling it through there. And uh, so I changed that, and then I've seen them things have the be kind of have the water pump impeller just loose in there. So something's going on because we changed out the thermostat and we, all this stuff, and it's still it's still getting hot. And it don't look like it's circulating too much. So we're going to look into that too. All right, let me see if we can buff these off a little. Oh yeah, them's, them's looking just like brand used there, baby. Well, they've been sitting there for a little while. They feel, well, they're not, they're not sticky, so let's peel this stuff over here. And we'll uh, take some water and wash these down a little bit, and then we'll go get them put on. All right, show you more. Well, now that says it's a three-ton jack stand made in China. There ought to be nothing wrong with that. Okay. So before we bring the jack over here and jack this thing up, I want to break these loose. And I'm sure these ain't been off of here in a while. It's got to be the big one. There we go. Heck, that one's loose. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, we got to come up with another plan. Okay, well, I think what we're going to try to do is take our three ton jack stand. Let's see if this impact socket will fit on here, but that one's loose. But these others, them things ain't been off of here since Hector was a pup. And Hector's quite old now, so something ain't right. Let's see if we can figure out a way to. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Let's see here. Let's try this one. We wanna break these loose before we try to bring the jack over here. Well, that's nice and handy. All right, let's see if we can break it loose. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. Let's try plan C. Well, I guess before we go any further, we ought to spray them a little bit. Oh, that was loose. Them other ones ain't. Well, we've left that soak a little bit. Let's see if we can. Now, shoot, that won't go on there. I thought maybe that would go on there. So I don't think that's... Oops, I don't think that's going to that. Doesn't help that it's on the hillside here. Let's see. Get this up there. Let's 
see what happens. Well, something gave. Oh yeah, she's loose now. There's one. off there so I don't know where that went did you guys see where that thing flew off to there it is yeah that's half inch drive right there baby I guess I'm gonna have to get out the three quarter inch drive stuff I don't know yeah I bet I bet I could weld that back on there but I probably won't what brand is this well, it ain't even got a brand name on it, so, boy, it's been beat on through the years. All right, well, we're going to have to come up with something else. Show you more. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. <clears throat> Whew. Guys, I got to tell you. Whew. Them don't have to be that tight. That's just, that's just plumb ridiculous. All right, we got those broke loose. Let's go back and get the tires put on the trailer, get the spare tire off the trailer, get it on the car, get this tire off here because it's flat. <sighs> I think it's going to take all day. Show you more.
All right, that ought to work. All right, let's go jack up the other side and uh, pull that wheel off. Oh, well, hey, before we do that, let's put this on there. Yeah, a little poverty cap here. That was the longest ones they had. I'm hoping that I don't have to put them extensions on there. Those things never did work very good. Here's the curb cap installer. 500 here. Oops. Tell you what, we went from 48 degrees to 80. It's hot out here. I should wear some shorts. Well, I think we got this thing kind of put back together a little bit. You know, I, I kind of like my wheel covers and my white walls. I like all that stuff. I know I'm weird, but that's what I want to put on the lime latte dollar too. All right, let's get over there and put that spare tire on the LTD. All right, show you more. That thin straight and all made a big difference on this. At least on that one. Oh, that was the one that was loose. It's probably got something wrong with it. No, that one's coming right off too. I think it was just put on there a little too tight. Now you noticed I used my impact over there, but I've been using that for years. And I know to set that on my number two setting, and that'll torque them down. Oh, I don't know, somewhere in the 90 foot pounds range. And I don't know, I ain't got no specs on that old homemade trailer of mine, but you know, most of that stuff you don't want to, you just over torque them. I mean, come on. It's kind of like putting your oil filter on it tightening it down to where it takes a cutting torch to get it off or something. I mean, it's ridiculous. Now, I don't know if this rim will come off of here. Sometimes these things are, are welded with rust to the, to the hub, and I'm assuming this has disc brakes. Most of these boards this area did. Got no brakes, but we got plenty of pads. here. 
it's not made for this rim of it. Well, it looks like it ought to fit. What's the difference? I gotta be honest with you. I didn't see anything but just some rust on here. I don't have a caliper or nothing to check it, you know, millionths of an inch, but I used my uh, tape measure, my old trusty tape measure, and it looks the same to me, but I'm gonna clean this up a little bit with my old blue point grinder here. <laughs> Do just a little more than that, I think. That other rim seems to have a little bit of a slope on that right there. Well, that was square, so we'll just see what we can Round it off now. We'll see if that fits. All right, let's see if this thing works. Well, it looks like our dust cap came off. It's all full of crap. That's handy. We'll just put that back on there. Act like we didn't see that. Okay. Little dirt and them bearings never hurt anything. Uh, let's see if it'll fit on. Is so so. Look at there. I believe that worked. As long as it works, is it really doing it wrong? I mean, hey. Well, let's get the let's get this thing put back on there and, and get this LTD back down on all four paws of this thing has been giving me a fit. All right, show you more. You talk about some tires that's wore out now. Look at, look at them cracks. I mean, ain't no wonder it won't hold air. And then on the front of this one, somewhere there's a big gash right there, yeah. So, we definitely got to get some new tires on this beast before we go to Sykeston, that's for sure. All right, guys, that's about going to do it for today. I'm wore out, and it's hot out here, and I think it's beer 30. So anyway, uh, don't think we're going to get to taking the water heater. Water heater. Yeah, let's put a water heater in this. No, I don't think we're going to get to checking out the water pump on this episode, so maybe we'll do that on the next episode. It just wound up taking longer, getting these tires all swapped around and grinding the rim out. And, you know, oh, you know how it is. So anyway, be sure and like and share. Reach out there to all them no-name National 500 uh, channels that are trying to get their 500 subscribers. And be sure and subscribe to them and like and share. And, and uh, you know, just get out there and, and try to support the community. Anyway, thanks for coming along, and as always, we're making it just like brand used here, baby. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby!